in the last lesson I uh, talked about uh, that acceleration could be in different form uh, in terms of uh, time, position, velocity or constant. Here I want to show you uh, what do we do if acceleration is given as a function of position. So here acceleration is a function of s where s is the position. So if our objective is to find velocity, what do we do? Can we still do this? Say velocity is the integral of acceleration with respect to time. You clearly see that that's not possible. If you put acceleration as a function of position here, you're going to have a problem. So this is not going to work. So we have to look at a different approach, a different formula. So the way this is done is basically you start with defining acceleration, which is the derivative of velocity. And at the same time, you get the definition of velocity, which is the derivative of position. So then what we want to do actually, we want to take this and rewrite this as dt equal ds over v. Basically, we switch the position of v and dt. And then we're going to take this and put it right here in place of t. So now our equation becomes acceleration equal dv over dt. But remember, dt is ds over v. So I'm going to put the ds over v here, basically this guy, right? And then when you clean this up or simplify it, it becomes v dv ds. So now acceleration is equal to v dv ds. Therefore, if you cross multiply, you get V dV equal A dS. And that's exactly what you want. So now you could go ahead and integrate. Now you see your acceleration here is next to dS. And if acceleration is a function of position, then you can integrate. So let's go to the next page and look at an example. So let's say if acceleration is given as an example, given acceleration to be a very simple function of position, 2s. And our objective is to find velocity. Now, we, need, we know that anytime we uh, integrate, we need uh, initial conditions so we can find the constant of integration. So let me give you this uh, condition that at, uh, or when s is equal to 0, velocity is 0, and I want to find, actually, velocity when s is equal to, say, 3 meters. So here we're using metric system. Okay, so here we go. So in the last page, you see here we had this expression here, VdV equal ADS, right? So I'm going to rewrite that here for you, VdV equal ADS, or VdV equal a, A, remember now, A is what? 2S. I'm going to put it right here. And now I'm ready to integrate. So integrate this and integrate this. You could actually put the limits of the integral if you want. So you could do that. Or get the constant of integration and put the position. Let me put the limits actually. So here we know that when S is 0, velocity is 0. So when s is equal to 3, so the upper limit is 3 here, right? What is velocity v? So this is a very simple integration. Uh, the integral of v dv becomes 1 half v squared, which has to be evaluated between 0 to v. Equal the integral of 2s becomes s squared, which has to be evaluated between 0 and 3. So 1 half v squared, after you evaluate it between 0 to v, actually, you get just that. And this guy, when we evaluate this, we get 3 squared minus 0 squared. So v squared actually becomes 18. And therefore, velocity is going to be roughly about 4.24 meters per second. So anytime acceleration is a function of position, you need to use this expression of VDV equal ADS and then integrate it.